following is a class on the nectar of devotion given by his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami prabhupad recorded on january 2nd 1973 in bombay india nectar of devotion this eternal engagement in bhakti rasa can be understood by a serious student upon studying the nectar of devotion adoption of bhakti rasa or Krishna consciousness will immediately bring one to an auspicious life free from anxiety and will bless one with transcendental existence thus minimizing the value of liberation. Bhakti rasa itself is sufficient to produce the feeling of liberation because it attracts the attention of the Supreme Lord, Krishna. Generally neophyte devotees are anxious to see Krishna or God but God cannot be seen or known by our present materially blunt senses. The process of devotional service, as it is recommended in the nectar of devotion, will gradually elevate one from the material condition of life to the spiritual status, wherein the devotee becomes purified of all designations. Yes. The process of seeing God सेवनमुखी ही जीवाद स्वामी व स्फुरत अतः श्री कृष्ण नावादि न भवे ग्राह्यम इंद्रिय जस्ट लाइक ए पर्सन सफरिंग फ्रॉम सम डिजीज ही इज आई साइट इज ब्लॉक ही हैज गॉट द आई साइट टू सी but on account of some cataract disease he cannot see similarly uh god is there and i can see him also but the cataract of illusion is covering my media between god and me that for the brahma samhita i just say प्रेमाजन छुरीत भक्ति विलोचन शांत सदैव हृदय विलोक यम श्याम सुंदर अचिंत गुणस्वरूप गोविंद आदि पुरुषम तमाम भजा दैट ट्रीटमेंट इज टू इन होप योर डॉर्मेंट लव फॉर गॉड दैट इज ट्रीट we have got love for god we want to love somebody uh, either man or woman in animals in fine between the two dogs there is love they are jumping over one another playing very nicely sometimes the mother dog is pretending to bite the calf but it actually it is not biting so this loving propensity is there living in every living being it doesn't matter whether he is man or animal the love is there but at the present moment it is being pervertedly reflected this like love between krishna and mother jasoda that love is reflected here also between the mother and the child the same love because unless there is love in the absolute there cannot be any exhibition of love in the relative world <clears throat> the vedanta sutra says janmardasya jata the everything is emanating from the absolute so there is love just like radha krishna love kishore kishori young krishna young radha radha this love is parvatedly reflected in this material world which is in the name of love but it is last 
That's what is called perverted influence. So it lasts because the, a young boy, a young girl are mixed together, they love together, but a slight disagreement, they separate. Why? Because that is not love, that is lust. The lust is going on in the name of love, but the reflection is from there. Therefore it is called māyā. The same love between father and mother, uh, father and son, vāksalya-ras, mādhūrya-ras, sakkha-ras, friendship. Here we have got friends, uh, but a slight disagreement we separate. Master and servant, uh, dasaras. A servant is very faithful, so long you pay. As soon as stop payment, uh, no more service, very uh, Therefore, uh, it is to be understood that the love uh, with Krishna in the platform of madhurya ras Ah, ras dasya ras shanta ras that is the real <coughs> platform in the spiritual world. Uh, and because the love affairs are there in the absolute, that is reflected in this relative world. And here is also the same love is there, but it is not very palatable. It is uh, not without any fault. There are so many faults. Uh, the real love can be uh, reciprocated with Krishna. Uh, in the material world, there cannot be any real love. Uh, therefore, mm, the real love uh, cannot be appreciated with our these material senses. Whatever we appreciate or experience by the material senses, that is not love, that is lust. Uh, motive, that is the motive. One is friend of another person, very intimate friends, that both of them have got some motive. As soon as the motive is frustrated, they separate. Uh, these things we find, even husband and wife, as soon as the sense gratification is disturbed, immediately there is divorce between husband and wife. Uh, so, therefore, uh, we have to invoke our love for Krishna, then our loving propensities will be actually uh, satisfied. Otherwise, we will be frustrated. Otherwise, we will be frustrated. That is going on. Uh, we may admit or not admit, but this frustration of love affair is going on. Uh, so, if we, that same thing, we repose in Krishna, if I want to love my son, uh, if I accept Krishna as my son, uh, just like Yasodama I accepted. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but uh, by devotional service he agrees to become a son. Uh, just like Yasodama and Nanda Maharaj in their previous life, they underwent severe austerities and their uh, aim was that we shall have uh, a son like God, like Krishna. So, after the uh, performance of austerities for many thousands of years, when Krishna appeared before them, what benediction he want? So, they proposed that we want a son like you. Then we enter into family life, otherwise not. So Krishna said, no, why shall I get a son like me? I shall become your son. This is the fact. Uh, 
And therefore, although Krishna took his birth as the son and Deva, son of Devaki and Vasudev, immediately ordered Vasudev to transfer him to Vrindavan, to Yasuda. So the pleasure of having son was enjoyed by Yasuda and Nanavasa. Not uh, Devaki and Vasudev, although they really gave birth to. And when Krishna was grown up, then went to his real father, Vasudev and uh, <coughs> Devaki. So actually, Krishna's crawling, Krishna's disturbing the mother, Krishna's stealing the butter, uh, so many things as child does reciprocates with the father and mother and parents. This Leela was demonstrated in Vrindavan. Uh, although Mother Dasuda and Vasudev, uh, I mean to say, Nanda Maharaj, they were foster father and mother. So everyone can have uh, Krishna as his son. Uh, everyone can have Krishna as his friend. Everyone can have Krishna as his master. Dasula, Sukhra, Smadudra. Even everyone can, can, can have Krishna as their parama. These things are uh, very uh, difficult to understand, but uh, these rasas, they are called rasas, parokya rasa. The parokya rasa means just like a man or woman has got his husband or wife, but he has got love with others. That is called parokya rasa. That is most abominable in this material world, but that is most first class thing in the spiritual world. Parokya rasa, yaha brajete prucha. So these things are very, uh, have principles of spiritual life, uh, but we can understand that whatever we are experiencing in this material world, that thing in its pure form is existing in the Supreme Absolute. That is fact. Otherwise they cannot be manifested in this material. Just like uh, on the bank of a tank uh, pond, there is a tree, and you find the tree, just abhaarted. The upper portion of the tree has gone down. Uh, that is described in the Bhagavad-gītā, uh, point out in the fifteenth chapter. Udha mūlam adho sākhā asattam prahu abhayam. Find out this verse. This material word is the reflection Urdha uh, Mūlam. Uh, Generally, the tree has got its root down, but the material world, uh, the, it is described as a big banyan tree, but the root is upwards. Uh, read it. Shri Bhagavan Vācā Urdha Mūlam Dakshākam Asvattam Dharmaravyayam Sandhāṁ Kiyatya Parnāni Yattam Veda Sadeva Vit just then be the Sabi Dabi, but in translation. The Blessed Lord said, There is a banyan tree which has its roots upward and its branches down, and whose leaves are the Vedic hymns. One who knows this tree is the knower of the Vedas. Yes. One who knows this tree, uh, he knows the Vedas. Uh, that means, uh, the Vedas says, Janma Arda Sajataha, that is Vedanta Sutra. Uh, where from this material world is coming. Uh, and that is absolute truth. Uh, the atheist class men, they cannot uh, think that there is a cause. Uh, in the sixteenth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, uh, Jagadahu Anishara, uh, Jagadahu Anishara, uh, what is that? Find out. Sixteen chapter. 
they say that this material cosmic manifestation, manifestation this world is now that is the last word you find out 16 chapter no no in the beginning beginning read 16 chapter अवयंस्तत्वसंशुद्धिर्ज्ञानयोगव्यवस्थिति दैविंग दीज आर दैवी संपर्क स्पिरिचुअल क्वालिफिकेशन एंड वाट इज द मेटीरियल क्वालिफिकेशन नेक्स्ट दीज आर दसुरी क्वालिटीज Read the translation. Arrogance, pride, anger, conceit, harshness, and ignorance. These qualities belong to those of demoniac nature. Yes, the first, well, the most important thing is ignorance. They do not know actually things as they are, but still they become a leader. Andhajathan vidu koniyama. Then what is the other qualities? Go on. दैवी संबद्ध मोक्षा निबंधा सुरीमता मार्च संपदम दैवी अभिजात पांडव दैवी संपद इफ यू एक्वायर दैवी संपद देन यू बिकम लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस मेटीरियल बॉन्ड बट इफ यू एक्वायर द आसुरिक संपद देन यू बिकम इन टैंग गॉडलेस राम कृष्ण से देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ मैन टू क्लास ऑफ मैन वन क्लास दैव और डेमी गॉड्स एंड अदर क्लास ओशूर सो आई हैव स्पोकन मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट दी दैव नाउ आई हेल स्पीक About the symptoms of the Osho Lords. What is the Osho Lord? Pravritting cha nivritting cha jana na vidurasura na shocham na picha cha ro na satyam ke shuvidhi se. No, this guy. Those who are demoniac do not know what is to be done and what is not to be done. Uh, that is the first qualification of the demons. They do not know uh, what is. Uh, right doing and what is wrong doing. Uh, suppose we just like we restrict anyone who comes to our uh, camp to become um, our student. We restrict that you should not do this, uh, or you should do this. Anywhere, if you go to a physician, he will say also that he, you shall do this. Some do's and some do nots. So. The osuras they do not know because they have no direction. They do not know what are the do's and what are the do nots. This is the first qualification of the osur. They do not know because they do not like to take lesson from superior. They manufacture their own lesson. Then. Na shocham na pi cha charo na satyam ke shubhijite.
आसक्तम अप्रतिष्ठन देह देह डू नॉट फाइंड आउट दैट देर इज ए कॉज ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल मैनिफेस्टेशन विदाउट एनी कॉज दे मेटीरियलिस्टिक साइंस इज देर वॉज अ चांक एंड वट इज अ चांक थियोरी सो देट ऑल ऑफ ए सर्न the chang become uh, disturbed and there was split and the creation came into existence uh, so jagadavu uh, anishwaram there is no god there is no existence of god every religion say the christian religion also says the mahavidan religion say the hindu religion say that god created this uh, cosmic manifestation of this material world But the Osuras will say there is no God, uh, there is no Creator. Jagadahu Anishar. Uh, <coughs> then, Aparas Parasam Bhutam Kimanyat Kam Hoy Pukam. Aparas Parasam Bhutam Kimanyat Kam Hoy Pukam. Just like uh, a man and woman accidentally unite, and there is a, a child. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, there is no purpose. Uh, somehow or other, the uh, material energy came into existence, and therefore uh, there is creation. This is their argument. This is Asuric um, uh, argument or the demonic argument. But uh, the Veda says no. Veda says that Janma uh, dasa jataha. Uh, there is only absolute truth, or God is He, from everything uh, emanates. Then uh, Madhusudan Jato, and that God must be sentient. He is not inch, not zero, not zero. The Sunnavad. Uh, he has got brain. He has got. He is person. Uh, that is explained. The Vedanta Sutra says, "Then Madhusudan Jato." Now, the, that absolute truth, from where everything is emanating, uh, is discussed in the beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Therefore, Bhagavatam is accepted as the real commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. Real commentary. Bhāsyam Brahma Sutra na Vedātha Parivinjitam. These are the statements. And is accepted by the Acharya. Now uh, in the Gauriya Sampradaya, therefore uh, the Goswami, they did not write any comment on the Vedanta Sutra, although other Acharyas like Ramana Charya, Madhya Charya, they wrote commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita, Vedanta Sutra. But our Goswami is, they did not write. Purposefully, because they accept that there is already a natural, a perfect commentary written by the same author. They are the this is not the Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam Brahma Sutra. The Vedanta Sutra says uh, answer. The first aphorism is Atharva Brahma Jigaja Brahma, the absolute. Uh, that is the main business <coughs> of the human life to inquire about the absolute truth. Here everything is related to. Uh, I am the son of my father. My father is the son of his father. His father is the son of his father. Go on. Everything is related. But who is the absolute? Who is the absolute? That inquiry is called Brahma Dhyana. Where from the who is the original father? Uh, that if you go on searching like that within this universe, you'll find Lord Brahma is the origin. He is called therefore Pitamah, Lord Brahma. Uh, but if you still inquire further, who is the father of Brahma? Uh, then you come to Gaurav Thakur Vishnu. From the Gaurav Thakur Vishnu, from his abdomen, 
there sprouted a lotus flower, and this lotus flower, Brahma was born. Therefore, Brahma is another name is Swayambhu. He did not come out through the womb of his mother. Uh, although the mother was present, Gargabhuta Sai Vishnu had seen the picture. Lakshmiji is massaging the lotus feet of Vishnu, and Brahma is sprouted from the abdomen. So, this is called omnipotency. Uh, generally, we have got idea that a child is born from the yoni. But here Krishna gives birth to a child without the help of his wife and from his abdomen. This is called omnipotence. Uh, we say God is omnipotent, but how God is omnipotent, that we do not know practically. Here is omnipotence. Uh, that is explained in the Brahma Sangita. Angari jasya sakalendriya vitti manti, pasyanti pānti kalayanti chirang jaganti, ānanda chinvaya sadhu jala vigrahasya govinda mādhitu santa mahamrita. Krishna, he can act anything with any limb part of his body. Uh, Krishna can eat with his eyes. And Krishna can hear with his eyes. Uh, Krishna can cut by touching. These are there in this hastra. Just like Krishna uh, uh, entered Mathura, he asked the washerman of Kansa to deliver some cloth, but he refused. So Krishna uh, immediately cut off his head with his hand without any ostrich. Uh, so that is omnipotence. Angani jasya sakala indriya vitti manti, pasyanti pānti kalayanti. Just like we offer prasāda, we offer foodstuff to Krishna. In this class we will say that we have offered Krishna this foodstuff, but he has not eaten. It is there, still lying. No, he does not see. He does not know that Krishna can eat simply by his glance, by seeing. Uh, he eats because he says in the Bhagavad Gita that patram puspam phalam toyam jumi bhaktya prajachyati tadam asnami. Uh, is he speaking life? No, he eats. But we do not know his eating process. We compare Krishna as ourselves. Uh, if one plate is given to me, I immediately devour the whole thing. Uh, but Krishna, uh, he is complete. He can eat the complete, he still it remains complete. Purnasa purnamadaya purnameva avasishyate. Uh, so in this way we have to understand Krishna from the śāstra, from the Vedas. Uh, then we shall understand Krishna. And once we understand Krishna, our life is successful. Janma karma me dibbam yu janati tattva. Anyone who understands Krishna in truth, his life is perfect. Tattva de hampunar janma naiti. The perfection of life is that after giving up this body, we shall not accept any more material power. That is perfection. The people do not know that. They think, people, the karmi, they think that if we get a nice body in the heavenly planet, that is perfection. Sargalo. And the jnani, they think that I am not this body, I am free soul, but somehow or other, if we finish my body and merge into the Brahma effulgence, that is perfection. The yogis, they think that we may keep this body, but with this body, if we can play some jugglery, magic, that is perfection. Sometimes we see 
somebody plays some jugglery magic, little magic, uh, not very nice magic, uh, one cannot uh, show greater magic than Krishna, uh, because Krishna when he was uh, seven years old, he leaped at the Govardhan hill with his little, little finger. So who can show this magic? Uh, there are so many imitation gods, but if I ask him that you just lift this one and hundred kilo burden with your finger, it will be very difficult for you. you see? Uh, so this kind of magic or this kind of perfection, uh, the devotees do not want. The devotees, they say, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching us. Na dhanangana janangana sandarin kavitang vajagadi satamai mamo janamani janmani sari bhavata dhokti rahaitu ki dai. This is devotee. Therefore, devotee is called akamo. They have no demand. Uh, they are satisfied in any condition of life. But they only pray to Krishna that his devotion to Krishna may not be destroyed. May not be destroyed. He doesn't want anything in exchange of his devotion and service. That is pure devotion. Anna vilasita sunnam jnana karma lalamritam. When we engage ourselves in this pure, unadulterated devotion and service, then we qualify ourselves to see God. So long we are not pure devotees. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhaktya mama vijana javana jasyami tattva. And when that stage of bhakti comes in, brahma bhuta prasanna atma nasu chati nakaan khati samas sarveshu bhuteshu man bhakti lavati para. When one has uh, self-realized, uh, Brahma, Brahma, uh, so long we are identifying with this body, identifying with this material existence, body, bodily existence, uh, that is animal life, uh, that is not human life. A human being, if he exists, in his bodily concept of life, he remains animal. Uh, but when he is advanced in knowledge, he understands that he is uh, not this body, he is different from this body. This is the perfection of bhakti. Thank you.